Well, hello there, and I do hope you're all well. Now, is this an absolute brilliant takedown of our arrogant, quasi quatangs mini budget? Yes, as we head into the House of Lords, as it was their first day back yesterday, and here they are debating the economy. And here we'll have Labour's Baroness Smith of Basilton basically making mincemeat out of our Kamikaze Quatang's mini budget. Then up steps the Conservative Lord Forsyth, a poor of Drumlian, to make a brave attempt to defend it. The help with fuel bills will still leave many families paying far more than £2,500. And it's an expensive package, but it's funded by borrowing. And I just fail to understand why, despite Labour's pleas and some on government's own side as well, and the welcome intervention of Shell's CEO, why the Prime Minister and Chancellor are so set against tacking, taxing the excess, billions of pounds excess profits, that are preferring instead costly extra borrowing. It doesn't make economic sense. So the mini budget damaged both the economy and it also damaged confidence in the government. It, it's unusual, but to the noble lord, I will. Uh, the noble lady accept that the government's package of support for people with their energy bills and businesses was far in excess of what the Labour Party were promising, yeah. and also that her proposed tax uh, on the energy companies would have raised a trifling £8 billion compared to the costs of the scheme which is being put forward by the government. Will she not welcome that? <coughs> welcome a fair away. The key answer on this one is who pays. Yeah. And the government had a choice. It could say that future taxpayers are going to pay at a time when borrowing is higher than it's been for years, or it could say the energy companies could make a contribution to this. And the £8 million he gives is wrong. It's at least £14 million. I don't dispute billion. Billion. I don't dispute the generosity, in inverted commas, of the government. This is an expensive package. The problem is it's going to cost us for years to come, and it still means that many households will be paying over £2,500 that they can't afford. And so, how to say to the noble lord, he makes a brave defence of the government, but it's not one I can support. Absolutely spot on. Who's going to pay for this? It's not just going to be us, probably, but probably our children... And even more, probably their children as well, while those living the high life, burning £50 notes to light up their Panamas, I suppose, will get away with it scot-free. Well, if they did pay their fair bit, chances are they'd burn £50 notes to still light up their Panamas, but you get my point. Why should we be saddled, saddled with the debt while those with money to burn just don't have to? Doesn't seem fair, does it? Anyway... Right, I shall leave the video here and until the next time I shall bid you farewell and take care.